Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial by Prompt Muse. Uh, today we're going to be making a GPT-3 image creator right into your WhatsApp. So this is going to be similar to uh, Midjourney Stable Diffusion, but it's going to be powered by Dolly and WhatsApp. So no other applications in your way, just on your phone, make an image. Uh, yeah, <laughs> do what you will. So to start with, uh, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a DALI2 API key and a LandBot account. LandBot does, does have a, I think it's 14 day free trial. Uh, so we're going to be using that in this demo. Uh, before I start, uh, I would just like to point out that we now have a new community section within our website where we can uh, share, rate, and get ideas about prompts from our own images and other people's. Uh, so dive in, enjoy that, and I hope to see you around there. Anyway, moving on. First of all, we're going to need to create an account with LandBot. The website is landbot.io. Uh, so make your way over to their website and sign up for free. Once in, uh, you will be greeted by a, a wizard type thing uh, asking you your name, your company. Just click past that. Um, not really needed. Um, Anyway, once we're in, go to the dashboard, little picture of the robot, click build chatbot, and we want a WhatsApp. Um, we want a WhatsApp. Um, what are these called? I forgot. Um, flow, flow diagram thing uh, from scratch. So this is what it's going to give you to start off with. Um, click past that. So user input. This is going to be default. That's fine. We don't need to change anything there. Uh, and then we want the next one to be text. Click on it, you don't drag. Um, and so this is going to be the question that the application in our WhatsApp is going to ask us. Uh, so let's try and make it a little bit cool. What image can I make, my lord? Because I have a complex, obviously. Um, that's all good. And we're going to call that prompt. Uh, if I could spell P R O M P T and then apply, just make sure that's saved. Good. Uh, let's drag this green line. Oh, it's gone a bit funny. Go away. Uh, drag this green line down and connect. The next step is we're going to need to get a webhook. Uh, so this is basically connecting our app that we're making on WhatsApp over to our DALI2 API. Um, so let's just close that and type web hook and let's click. I always drag it, I don't know why. Um, so the information that we need here is going to be populated from API reference. Uh, so the web address for this is, if I can pull this down, uh, beta.openai.com slash docs slash API hyphen references slash images. Uh, I'll include that in uh, the description. Um, Cool. So down the side, we want to go down to images and let me have a quick look. Yeah, this is what we need. So it's a post. Um, it's going to be posting. We need that URL. I'll take that while I'm here. And we're going to need this information as well. So if I hop over to my other tab, move it up a little bit, um, put that in here. Then we have our custom headers. So what we need here is pop over here again, content type, application JSON. Actually, I think that's pre-written, yeah. So as a content hyphen type, capital type, then application JSON, application slash JSON. Awesome. Now we need our authorization. So this is going to be our key. Um, authorization. Uh, if you note here, they say bearer and then the API key. So make sure you type bearer before B E A R E R and then your API key. I'm just going to pause the video while I get my API key. Hang on a second. Um, actually, no, I'll, I'll do it with you guys here. Uh, so my API, go over to your um, API key. So this is in your account slash APIs uh, keys over at OpenAI. I'll create a new one with you. I'll delete it anyway. I'll reach a max. 
revoke, revoke. Okay, there we go. There's my new key. Um, get back over and paste that in. Awesome. Let's let's, let's save that and put that there. Okay, next we need to do save, send parameters, custom headers. We've done that, we've done that. Uh, customize the body. Uh, so go over back over to the reference page and we want to drag this. Oh, or actually just click copy. <laughs> Simple things, eh? Um, and we can paste that in here. So this is basically saying the prompt, uh, this is the request that we're sending to the API. So it's giving the prompt, uh, the number of images and the resolution. So first of all, let's delete prompt unless you just want an app that makes otters. I don't judge. Um, and we're going to add our variable that we created earlier. Uh, we called that prompt. Uh, we want one image and the size is great. Um, and we're going to test that. Um, 500 error. So this is basically, I haven't added a phone number yet. So let's click apply, test, uh, publish first, name, Alex. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, cool. All good. Uh, so that ping you heard was my web WhatsApp, just saying I got a message from them. Let's close that. Uh, once we've added our phone number, then we pop back over to Webhook and then test your request. We want to click the little button, uh, load up our prompt variable, and we're going to give it a value. The reason we're going to give it a value now is we need to just have something there uh, for Landbot to allow us to give it a name. That will make sense better in a second. Uh, so a happy man. Okay, test our request. Just having a think. Scroll down. Here we go. So we've got this information provided when it's created and the URL. The only information here we want is the URL. Uh, so we need to save that and uh, give that a name. So click save response as variables. Uh, find that URL. The URL will be the one without any squiggly brackets or anything before. So in that case, that, this case, it's this one for me. And we are going to give that a name. In this case, we're going to call it response. There we go. Um, that's, that's a string, by the way. Uh, if it does ask you what type of variable, it's a string. Um, then apply. We're good. On to the next. Uh, so the next one is we've got the request from the API. It's sending the information. It's creating the image. It's sending it back. Now we want to send it to WhatsApp. Uh, to do that, close here. Go to Messenger. I already have that saved. M-E-S-S. -S. Click it. Um, so the information that it's sending is going to be a image, of course, because it's a picture. So let's click Media. Click the pencil from URL. And then we can click our variables, actually. And we called that response, didn't we? Uh, response. So that will give the URL of our picture. Click Send tie them up, We're good to go, publish, and then we can test our application. Uh, so here we go, test, let's send a test to Alex, pinged, your chatbot is ready for testing, send a message or click the button to start testing, okay, what image can I make my lord, uh, let's make a uh, pink unicorn on a bike obviously you can do your normal things like um ultra realistic 50 millimeter lens etc send that off wait a couple of seconds usually takes about five to ten seconds there we go fantastic we've got my image uh, so, yeah, I'd be interested to see what you can do with this. 
and I would like to thank Mr. Hackathon uh, for his tutorial on this. This was completely his idea. Um, and yeah, awesome. Stay cool. Take care.